Pandit Ram Prasad Bismil pronunciation the 11th of June 1897 to the 19th of December 1927 was an Indian revolutionary who participated in Mainpuri conspiracy of 1918 and the Kakori conspiracy of 1925 and struggled against British imperialism as well as being a freedom fighter he was a patriotic poet and wrote in Hindi and Urdu using the pen names Ram Agyat and Bismil but he became popular with the last name Bismil only. He was associated with Arya Samaj where he got inspiration from Satyarth Prakash, a book written by Swami Dayanand Saraswati. He also had a confidential connection with Lala Har Dayal through his guru Swami Samdev, a preacher of Arya Samaj. Bismil was one of the founding members of the revolutionary organization Hindustan Republican Association. Bhagat Singh praised him as a great poet writer of Urdu and Hindi, who had also translated the books Catherine from English and Bolshevikan Ki Kartut from Bengali. <laughs> Early life Ram Prasad Bismil was born on of June 1897 at Shahjananpur, in northwestern provinces, British India. He learnt Hindi from his father at home and was sent to learn Urdu from a Mulvi. He was admitted to an English language school, despite his father's disapproval, and also joined the Arya Samaj in Shahjananpur. Bismil showed a talent for writing patriotic poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Contact with Samdev As an 18-year-old student, Bismil read of the death sentence passed on by Parmanand, a scholar and companion of Har Dayal. At that time he was regularly attending the Arya Samaj temple at Shahjananpur daily, where Swami Samdev, a friend of Paramanand, was staying. Angered by the sentence, Bismil composed a poem in Hindi titled Mera Janm and My Birth, which he showed to Samdev. This poem demonstrated a commitment to remove the British control over India. Lucknow Congress Bismil left school in the following year and travelled to Lucknow with some friends. The Naram Dal of the Indian National Congress was not prepared to allow the Garam Dal to stage a grand welcome of Tilak in the city. They organised a group of youths and decided to publish a book in Hindi on the history of American independence, America Ki Swatantrata Ka Idias, with the consent of Samdev. This book was published under the authorship of the fictitious Babu Harivan Sahai and its publisher's name was given as Samdev Sidgopal Shukla. As soon as the book was published, the government of Uttar Pradesh proscribed its circulation within the state. <laughs> Mainpuri conspiracy Bismil formed a revolutionary organization called Matravedi Altar of Motherland and contacted Jenda Lal Dixit, a school teacher at Oreya. Somdev arranged this, knowing that Bismil could be more effective in his mission if he had experienced people to support him. Dixit had contacts with some powerful dacoits of the state. Dixit wanted to utilize their power in the armed struggle against the British rulers. Like Bismil, Dixit had also formed an armed organization of youths called Shivaji Samiti named after Shivaji. The pair organized youths from the Etawa, Mainpuri, Agra and Shahjananpur districts of United Province now Uttar Pradesh to strengthen their organizations. On 28 January 1918, Bismil published a pamphlet titled Deshvasyan K. Nam Sindesh A Message to Countrymen, which he distributed along with his poem Mainpuri Ki Pratigya Vow of Mainpuri. To collect funds for the party looting was undertaken on three occasions in 1918. Police searched for them in and around Mainpuri while they were selling books proscribed by the UP. Government in the Delhi Congress of 1918. When police found them, Bismil absconded with the books unsold. When he was planning another looting between Delhi and Agra, a police team arrived and firing started from both the sides. Bismil jumped into the Yamuna and swam underwater. The police and his companions thought that he had died in the encounter. Dixit was arrested along with his other companions and was kept in Agra Fort. From here, he fled to Delhi and lived in hiding. A criminal case was filed against them. The incident is known as the Mainpuri Conspiracy. On 1 November 1919 the Judiciary Magistrate of Mainpuri B.S. Chris announced the judgment against all accused and declared Dixit and Bismil as absconders.
Topic: <laughs> Underground activities. From 1919 to 1920 Bismil remained inconspicuous, moving around various villages in Uttar Pradesh and producing several books. Among these was a collection of poems written by him and others, entitled Man Ki Lahar, while he also translated two works from Bengali Bolshevikan Ki Kartut and Yogik Sadhan and fabricated Catherine or Swadinta Ki Devi from an English text. He got all these books published through his own resources under Sushilmala, a series of publications except one Yogik Sadhan which was given to a publisher who absconded and could not be traced. These books have since been found. Another of Bismil's books, Kranti Gitanali, was published in 1929 after his death and was proscribed by British Raj in 1931. Formation of Hindustan Republican Association In February 1920, when all the prisoners in the Mainpuri conspiracy case were freed, Bismil returned home to Shahjananpur, where he agreed with the official authorities that he would not participate in revolutionary activities. This statement of Ram Prasad was also recorded in vernacular before the court. In 1921, Bismil was among the many people from Shahjananpur who attended the Ahmedabad Congress. He had a seat on the dais, along with the senior congressman Prem Krishna Khanna, and the revolutionary Ashfakula Khan. Bismil played an active role in the Congress with Maulana Hazrat Mohani and got the most debated proposal of Purna Swaraj passed in the general body meeting of Congress. Mohandas K. Gandhi, who was not in the favor of this proposal became quite helpless before the overwhelming demand of Yuz. He returned to Shahjananpur and mobilized the Yuz of United Province for non-cooperation with the government. The people of UP were so much influenced by the furious speeches and verses of Bismil that they became hostile against British Raj. As per statement of Banarsi Lal approver made in the court, Ram Prasad used to say that independence would not be achieved by means of non-violence. In February 1922 some agitating farmers were killed in Shori Chowra by the police. The police station of Shori Chowra was attacked by the people and 22 policemen were burnt alive. Gandhi, without ascertaining the facts behind this incident, declared an immediate stop the non-cooperation movement without consulting any executive committee member of the Congress. Bismil and his group of youths strongly opposed Gandhi in the Gaya session of Indian National Congress 1922. When Gandhi refused to rescind his decision, its then-president Chitranjan Das resigned. In January 1923, the rich group of party formed a new Swaraj party under the joint leadership of Moti Lal Nehru and Chitranjan Das, and the youth group formed a revolutionary party under the leadership of Bismil. <laughs> Yellow Paper Constitution With the consent of Lala Har Dayal, Bismil went to Allahabad where he drafted the constitution of the party in 1923 with the help of Sachindra Nath Sanyal and another revolutionary of Bengal, Dr. Jadugopal Mukherjee. The basic name and aims of the organization were typed on a yellow paper and later on a subsequent constitutional committee meeting was conducted on 3 October 1924 at Kanpur in UP under the chairmanship of Sachindra Nath Sanyal. This meeting decided the name of the party would be the Hindustan Republican Association HRA. After a long discussion from others Bismil was declared there the district organizer of Shahjananpur and chief of arms division. An additional responsibility of provincial organizer of United Province AGRA and OUDH was also entrusted to him. Sachindra Nath Sanyal, was unanimously nominated as national organizer and another senior member Jogesh Chandra Chatterjee, was given the responsibility of coordinator, Anushilan Samiti. After attending the meeting in Kanpur, both Sanyal and Chatterjee left the UP and proceeded to Bengal for further extension of the organization. <laughs> Manifesto of HRA A pamphlet entitled As the Revolutionary was distributed throughout the United Province in India about the end of January 1925. Copies of this leaflet, referred to in the evidence as the White Leaflet, were also found with some other alleged conspirators of Kokori conspiracy as per judgment of the Chief Court of OUDH. A typed copy of this manifesto was found with Manmath Nath Gupta. 
It was nothing but the manifesto of HRA in the form of a four-paged printed pamphlet on white paper which was circulated secretly by post and by hands in most of the districts of United Province and other parts of India. This pamphlet bore no name of the printing press. The heading of the pamphlet was, The Revolutionary, an organ of the Revolutionary Party of India. It was given first number and first issue of the publication. The date of its publication was given as 1 January 1925. <laughs> Kokori Conspiracy Bismil executed a meticulous plan for looting the government treasury carried in a train at Kokori, near Lucknow in UP. This historical event happened on 9 August 1925 and is known as the Kokori Conspiracy. Ten revolutionaries stopped the eight down Saharanpur Lucknow passenger train at Kokori, a station just before the Lucknow railway junction. German made Mauser C 96 semi automatic pistols were used in this action. Ashfakula Khan, the lieutenant of the HRA chief Ram Prasad Bismil, gave away his Mauser to Manmath Nath Gupta and engaged himself to break open the cash chest. Eagerly watching a new weapon in his hand, Manmath Nath Gupta fired the pistol and accidentally shot and killed passenger Ahmed Ali, who had gotten down from the train to see his wife in the ladies' compartment. More than 40 revolutionaries were arrested whereas only 10 persons had taken part in the dacoity. Persons completely unrelated to the incident were also captured. However some of them were let off. The government appointed Jagat Narain Mullah as public prosecutor at an incredible fee. Dr. Harkaran Nath Mishra Barrister MLA and Dr. Mohan Lal Saxena MLC were appointed as defense counselors. The defense committee was also formed to defend the accused. Gavind Balab Pant, Chandra Banu Gupta and Kripa Shankar Hajela defended their case. The men were found guilty and subsequent appeals failed. On 16 September 1927, a final appeal for clemency was forwarded to the Privy Council in London but that also failed. Following 18 months of legal process, Bismil, Ashfakula Khan, Roshan Singh and Rajendra Nath Lahiri were sentenced to death. Bismil was hanged on 19 December 1927 at Gorakhpur Jail, Ashfakula Khan at the Faizabad Jail and Roshan Singh at Naini Allahabad Jail. Lahiri had been hanged two days earlier at Gonda Jail. Bismil's body was taken to the Rapti River for a Hindu cremation, and the site became known as Rajhat. Literary works Bismil published a pamphlet titled Deshvasyan K. Nam Sandesh N., A Message to My Countrymen. While living underground, he translated some of Bengali books viz. Bolshevikan Ki Kartut N., The Bolsheviks Program and Yogik Sadhan of Arvind Ghosh. Beside these a collection of poems Man Ki Lahar N., A Sally of Mind and Swadeshi Rang was also written by him. Another Swadinta Ki Devi, Catherine was fabricated from an English book into Hindi. All of these were published by him in Sushil Mala series. Bismil wrote his autobiography while he was kept as condemned prisoner in Gorakhpur jail. The autobiography of Ram Prasad Bismil was published under the cover title of Kakori K. Shahid by Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi in 1928 from Pratap Press, Kanpur. A rough translation of this book was got prepared by the Criminal Investigation Department of United Province in British India. Translated book was circulated as confidential document for official and police use throughout the country. Memorials Shahid Smarak Samiti of Shahjananpur established a memorial at Kurni Bagh Mohalla of Shahjananpur city where Bismil was born in 1897 and named it, Amar Shahid Ram Prasad Bismil Smarak. A statue made of white marble was inaugurated by the then governor of Uttar Pradesh Mutalal Vora on 18 December 1994 on the eve of the martyr's 69th death anniversary. The Northern Railway Zone of Indian Railways built the PT Ram Prasad Bismil Railway Station, 11 kilometres from Shahajahanpur. There is a memorial to the Kokori conspiracists at Kokori itself. 
It was inaugurated by the former Prime Minister of India Shrimathi Indira Gandhi on the 19th of December 1983. The Government of India issued a multicolored commemorative postal stamp on the 19th of December 1997 in Bismil's birth centenary year. The Government of Uttar Pradesh had named a park after him, Amar Shahid Pt. Ram Prasad Bismil Udian is near Rampur Jagar village, where Bismil lived underground after the Mainpuri conspiracy case in 1919. See also Sukhdev Thapar Chandrashikar Azad Shivaram Rajguru